When the instruction says to weigh 2.0 grams, there is no need to weigh exactly 2.000 grams. A range of masses is accepted as the weighing balance can read up to three decimal places, and therefore the precision of the electronic balance is plus minus 0.001 grams. To determine the range of accepted mass readings, these are the steps that can be taken. Let us look at how to determine the minimum accepted mass. Firstly, decrease the terminating digit by a value of 1 and add a 5 at the end, followed by a 0 if necessary to reach 3 decimal places. To determine the maximum accepted mass, keep the terminating digit and add a 4 at the end, followed by a 9 if needed. For example, if the instruction says to weigh about 2.7 grams of FA1, to find the minimum acceptable mass, we decrease the terminating digit by a value of 1, so 2.7 becomes 2.6. Then we add a 5 at the end to get 2.65. Since the electronic balance can read up to 3 decimal places, we add a 0 as the last digit. Thus, the minimum acceptable mass is 2.650 grams. To find the maximum acceptable mass, we keep the terminating digit. Then we add a 4 at the end to get 2.74. Next, we add a 9 as the last digit. The maximum acceptable mass is thus 2.749 grams. Therefore, when you are asked to add 2.7 grams of FA1, any values between 2.650 grams and 2.749 grams is accepted. This range of masses are accepted because when 2.650 is rounded up to one decimal place, we get 2.7. And when 2.749 is rounded down to one decimal place, we will also get 2.7. Let's look at another example. What if the instruction gives you a range of mass of FA1 instead of a single mass? For example, if the instruction says to weigh between 2.0 grams and 2.5 grams of FA1, to find the minimum acceptable mass, we decrease the terminating digit of the lower mass value in the given range. In this example, it's 2.0 by a value of 1, so 2.0 becomes 1.9. Then we add a 5 at the end to get 1.95. We add a zero as the last digit, thus the minimum acceptable mass is 1.950 grams. To find the maximum acceptable mass, we keep the terminating digit of the higher mass value in the given range. In this example, is 2.5. Then we add a 4 at the end to get 2.54. Next, we add a 9 as the last digit. The maximum acceptable mass is thus 2.549 grams. Therefore, if the instruction says to weigh between 2.0 grams and 2.5 grams of FA1, any value between 1.950 grams and 2.549 grams is accepted. This range of masses are accepted because when 1.950 is rounded up to one decimal place, we get 2.0. And when 2.549 is rounded down to one decimal place, we will get 2.5.